The drought is stretching fireworks bans across central Texas. All the counties you see in red there are currently banning the sale and use of fireworks through the 4th. Now the county in orange, Burnett County, has a temporary ban which could extend into the holidays. Individual cities can make their own determination if they will hold their own fireworks shows. And several cities are still a go, but Austin's celebration is not. KXAN's Jared Wise joins us now with the story. Jared? Well, Shannon, late last week, word came down that fireworks would not be a part of this year's celebration due to the severe drought we're in. But the symphony said it would still play at auditorium shores, perhaps with lasers or even some kind of other light show. But, well, this afternoon, word came that would not happen either. No fireworks, no music. It'll be the first time in 35 years. If, if, if we can't get water from the sky, we can get water from the ground here at Liz Carpenter Fountain. Families can enjoy this little water park all season, but a once-a-year event nearby draws an even bigger crowd. It's fun to come down uh, to downtown Austin and watch the fireworks. Every year for over three decades, nearly 100,000 people flock to Auditorium Shores to celebrate the country's birth in spectacular fashion. But not this year. It's the first I hear about that. It's a, it's a little bit unfortunate, but you know, when there's drought conditions, we got to take concern. You know, we'll have to celebrate without a few fi less fireworks, um, but you know, hopefully a few less fires too. I, I don't see everything uh, canceling everything is a very good option. Maybe just canceling the fireworks, but you can still play music. That doesn't cause fires. Even after word the fireworks were canceled last week, the Austin Symphony Orchestra hinted that they would still put on their annual concert here in front of the Long Center, but with lower attendance expected and a lack of financial support, organizers decided to cancel. There definitely should be something. But the city currently has no other alternatives in place. And with the festivities just a few weeks away, many are forced to decide on something a little different this year. We're looking forward to it, but uh, we'll think of something, probably make it a movie night or something of that sort. We'll probably just do family things, maybe get away. We probably won't go somewhere else for the fireworks. We'll just, you know, enjoy family and friends and uh, get together at a park. Fireworks, the cities of San Marcos, Kyle, Buda, and Round Rock are all currently still holding their fireworks celebrations, but that could, of course, all change at the last minute.